Hello, this is Mr. Hatton, and today we're going to be talking about compound interest and the power that your money has to work for you. So I've got a question for each of you, and that would be, do you think that it's possible for you to be a millionaire someday? And I would say that, honestly, I think it is very possible for everyone that's listening to this video to become a, a millionaire someday, especially if you are uh, young at this time. And so we're going to think about some ways that what would have to happen in order for that to be possible. And so we have to think about the question, well, like, how long would it take me to, to make a million dollars? And how could you say it's possible just through saving? And so let's first look at what if we had one million dollars and how long would it take us to get there? And let's say if you were going to save $500 a month, which would be $6,000 a year. So let's divide it by $6,000. It would take us 166 years in order to get to that million dollars before we would save up that much money. So I don't think any of us are going to live to be 166. So how else could that be possible? What else could we do in order to get to that goal of making a million dollars? And so to do this, we would have to use the principle that we're going to call compound interest. And so compound interest is a term that really just means that we're going to make interest on our interest. So what is interest? Interest is the time value of money. And what we mean by this is that interest is the amount of money that your, your money makes if you lend it to somebody else. So think about that if you give your money to a bank, you're actually renting your money to the bank and they have to pay you for the, the rent to be able to use your money for various projects, whether that would be building houses or other investments, but they're going to have to pay you for the rent on your money that you're letting them use for a certain period of time. And so with compound interest, what we're getting is that we are getting the time value of money, but then that interest is also building interest of its own. So remember, it was going to take us 166 years to get to a million dollars if we were just saving it up at a rate of a thousand dollars a year but let's look and see what would happen if we start adding in compound interest that instead of just burying our money under a mattress and we're trying to save it each month we actually allow our money to work for us and that that's the actual goal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a couple charts that show us what would happen if we decide to start compounding our money and so this first chart that we're going to look at is how much would you need to save in order to get to a million dollars at retirement at a 6% return rate so that you're getting interest of 6% per year. How much would you have to save in order to get to a million dollars at retirement at 65? And I want you to see a couple things about this chart is that if you started saving when you were 20 years old, you would actually only need to save $361 a month in order to get up to that million dollars. That's because your money has more time to work for you, that you're putting your money away early and that's going to allow it to, to build up. If we waited just until you're 25, so five years later, you would now have to save $499.64 every month and every month from there on out in order to get caught up. That's a pretty big difference from just five years. If you waited all the way until you're 30, now that number has jumped up to almost $700 that would have to be saved every month. If you decided, well, I'm going to wait to start saving my money until we get to, uh, until I get older, until I get well established, so I'm 40 or 45, at 45, you're having to save over $2,100 every single month just to get to that million dollar goal, uh, which is still 20 years away. If you waited all the way until you're 60, so you only had five years to save, in order to get to a million dollars, you would have to save over $14,000 every month. And so what we have to think about there is that what's going to happen at $361, that's a, a much lower amount. That's lower than even the, uh, the $500 every month that we said that we would have to wait 166 years. So the, the key is that we're going to allow that money to snowball. It's going to build up and get bigger and bigger and bigger to where it becomes quite a sizable sum of money. So maybe you don't want to wait until you are um, re retirement age. But the earlier we start saving, that compound interest really starts to work. For you. The next chart that we're going to look at is what happens to our goal over the shorter term. The longer you're willing to invest your money, the higher return rate that you're, you're going to get. If you remember from the, the chart that we just looked at a minute ago, that was a 6% return rate. 
And what you'll see that historically, somewhere from 6 to 10% is very feasible if you're investing the right way. And so what we're going to do is for this next chart, we're going to say, what if instead of waiting until retirement, our goal might not be that million dollars, but what's going to happen to our money if we're willing to save just for a period of 10 years and at a much lower rate? So even if you're thinking about starting to save now, if you get a summer job or uh, when you're, you're old enough to, to work, how much could you start putting away? If you're willing to add, and, and by the way, this chart comes from investor.gov. I would encourage you to, to check it out. It has some great charts that you can see how your money can work for you. And so if you're going to, to contribute $50 every month for a period of 10 years, so $50 a month every 10 years, and this time we're going to say an 8% uh, interest rate, but we're also going to ask this chart to show us a range of plus or minus 2 percentage points. One thing about the market is, is that it, it's not an exact number. You can't always say exactly what kind of interest you'll make on an investment. But if you make smart investments, not trying to, to get rich quick, but if you make smart investments, 6 to 10% is very feasible uh, and is actually likely over the, the long run. And so we're going to compound the money annually. That just means that we're going to, only going to build our interest every year instead of trying to look at that monthly. We could get more specific and look every month, but for the sake of this example, we're just going to go ahead and look at it annually and say every year we're going to add that interest back in. And so I've already run the results of this, and so I'm going to scroll down. And this would say that in 10 years, at saving $50 a month, we would have $8,691.94 at an 8% uh, return, uh, return rate. So you can see as I mouse over each of these, um, that it's going to show us what the, the rate would have been. So at the base interest rate of, of 8%, so if we got 8% each year, or an average of 8% over those 10 years, we would have $8,691.94. If we did better and we got up to the the 10% interest rate, we would have $9,500. And if we were not as good as, as we wanted to, but still a 6% return rate, we would have $7,908. And we can check at each point and see that over time, that just with these 10 years that we can see that our money is getting is getting higher. Our money is growing. This is actually higher than just the, the amount that we had saved. I do want to pull the calculator up again and, and look at how much would we have just actually saved. How much of our own money at $50 a month over a period of 10 years, how much would that have gotten? So we'll pull our calculator back up and we want to see how much money we would have had to save. So at $50 a month times 12 months, that would have given us $600 every year that we're investing. And then if we're going to multiply that times 10, that would tell us that we would have actually saved $6,000. $6,000 of the money that you had worked for would have gone into, into that, that total. But then we would have had, even at a 6% return rate, we would have been at almost $8,000. That's almost $2,000 more than the amount that you had saved. And that's all possible because of compounding interest and the power of allowing your money to work for you. So we're going to look at one more example of what could we do in order to, to allow our money to keep working for us. And so we're going to give this example and say that what if we had an, an initial balance of zero, so meaning that we're not starting with any money already saved, and we want to save an annual amount of $2,000 per year. Um, so that, that's not an, an extreme amount, but we just want to get up to $2,000 per year. So this is when you get a first job right out of school, um, can you start saving $2,000 a year? But this time we're going to add a new idea there. We're going to say that we're going to increase by 5% every year. That if you're getting a raise at your work, if you are changing jobs, or if you're able to save more and getting more established, what would happen if you saved 5% more each year? And then we're going to say that you do this over the course of your entire career. And so if you started saving when you're 20 and worked until you're 65, you would have 40 years there. And then we're going to base this on a, we'll say, an 8% return rate, trying to shoot for the middle. That's still a decent return rate, but very possible with the market. And then let's calculate this and see what happens. And so based on this uh, information, this says that over the course of those 40 years, you would have saved $241,600 by increasing it by 5% each year by the amount that you saved. So that seems like a lot, but over the course of a 40-year career, that's very feasible. It's not impossible to do um, because that's assuming that you're going to keep working for yourself. You're going to invest in yourself. You're going to keep being able to make more money each year and therefore save more money each year.
But with compound interest, you'll see that this is a huge chunk of the pie that is actually compound interest. You would have over a million dollars because you would have, had, have earned $815,000 in interest. Your, your money just snowballed. You're earning interest on top of interest, which again, that is the main idea behind compound interest. And that's what's going to allow you to, to make the most money and to where each of you have an opportunity to become a millionaire. And so if we're going to end with coming back to our idea of 160 years. We're going to cross that out because that's definitely not what we're going to do. None of us have the 166 years to wait, but compound interest is the way to go. So keep that in mind that a little bit now, that saving now can really uh, work for you in the long run. Put your money to work. Use compound interest to your advantage.